。那小圈圈，你看啊，基本上这从左边还是比较接近的，但是这边的话，你看这个弧度和这个弧度明显是不一样的。Now let's see we are choosing the proper polishing wheel. As you can see, here's the workpiece, and uh, for this part, you see, it's a low part, and we need to use bigger polishing wheel so that it can reach this part, and uh, like this. High position, the position wheel must be smaller, and this part is bigger, smaller, bigger, and small. So, when you shaping the polishing wheel, it will be easy for you. And how many pieces of polishing wheel do we need? See, this is the edge, and we need to use one and or two piece more. That's the polishing wheel we need. That's to say, one one piece or two piece longer than the length of the polish of the workpiece. Let's see how we place the position wheel into the shaft. First, we see here's two small screw, and here's two bigger screw. We need to remove the four, all the four screw, and then this lock device can be open, and then we you put the position wheel into the shaft. Let's see how it works. It's open now, and and you can put the polishing wheel into the shaft. Let's see how we place the polishing wheel on the shaft. We need to use a iron pipe. Be very helpful.
。在开始修整麻轮之前呢，我们首先需要把这个弓箭调整到合适的位置。Before we start shaping the polishing wheel, we need to make the piece stay at the right position, and let's see how it works. First, we start the oil palm, and. Let's go to the manual and turn on the manual mode and the pressure on. Now, left click, walk piece, rotate forward. Then we click walk piece, push forward. You can see the walk piece has not touched the surface of the position wheel, so we need to rotate the handle and make it forward. To the left, and until until the work piece touch the surface, not touch yet. Okay. Now we can see the shape. It's different, so we need to shake the portion wheel until the whole surface attaches to the workpiece. Now the workpiece attached to the surface of the portion wheel, and we can see we can see the lens of the portion wheel is almost the same. Like the lens of the workpiece, and we align the workpiece to the right side of the polishing wheel. We can see almost in the same position. 就是这个抛之前呢，我们先把这个弓箭先让它接触到这个抛这个抛光轮。现在已经接触到了，然后呢，我们还需要保证这个左右的位置，左右的位置，这边和这个抛光轮对齐，不要超过这个边缘，这边也是差不多的，否则的话就需要修整抛光轮。Now the piece is at the right position. First, we click walk piece, pull back. That's that. And we, and then we click rotate back. All right. And now we start the push model. Wait until the speed of the motor reaches the highest one. Now we can start pushing and uh, shaping the wheel. This is the start button. This is the stop button. 在刮轮的时候呢，我们先把这个可也可以先把这个抛光蜡加在这个抛轮上。这样子的话，当这个产品和抛轮接触的地方，它就会变黑。然后我们就把这个变黑的地方刮掉，然后再加点抛光蜡上去，然后再往前调，增加压力，再抛一下，再把
裂开的地方给它刮掉，直到这个抛光轮的表面差不多全部都变黑了，也就意味着它全部接触到了。Before we shaking the polishing wheel, we can add some polishing soap into the on the polishing wheel, and when and then it will turn black. Where the copies touch the polishing wheel, and we cut off the black part and keep polishing until the whole surface of the polishing wheel turns black. Let's press start. Press the start button. And we keep rotating the handle until Touch 
the surface of the foot of the wheel. Now, it's only these two wheels. It's going to be added to the front wheel. I'm going to remove the front wheel. Then, I'm going to remove the front wheel. Now, it's going to be added to the front wheel. 